Good afternoon, my fellow YouTubers and model railroaders. Welcome once again to A and C Railroad, a N scale journey, an N scale layout and life journey. All right, I've been wanting to make a video for a while. I wanted to ask everyone, and you can of course leave some comments. Do you buy to collect or do you buy to run? Now, I'm not going to lie, in the, in the beginning, I bought to collect, but now I buy to run. I want to run all of my freight. I want to run all of my trains. I mean, not all at the same time, but, you know, I want to run them. I don't want to have anything that's collecting dust because that's no fun. What is the point of having foreign power if you never run it? What is the point of having a rare box car or covered hopper if you never run it? I, I don't get it. Um, I will say this. My layout has hit a stagnant point again. Um, but I'm getting there. I got the sculptor mold down. I... Uh, bought some sandpaper. I've been purchasing some other items that I might need or want. Uh, and I'll do video, mail call videos on that. I'm, I'm waiting for them to come in. I mean, I've got some things that I went to uh, Home Depot for. Because uh, i got to get ready f uh, to eventually start putting in my shelves above the layout. So that I can get my actual fiddle yard in so to speak because that's where it's going to be and probably have my reverse loop up there um so that way i can have a train go up to it and then come back down and come back out onto the layout but like i said are you buying to collect or are you buying to run i'm buying to run i want to run everything that i have i know i've already said that um but i'm getting there Slowly but surely, um, once once I figure out how to get this sculptor mold uh, a little more level in this one area, I am going to paint the crap out of the stuff, and then um, I will get this hill that I've had and and go uh, various modes going. Uh, get some sculptor mold on it. I don't know if I'm going to try and do. Uh, plaster sheets or not we'll see um but yeah i want to get that stuff going uh get some more angles cut into it do some other stuff with it uh make it look a little more realistic uh also i picked up uh i can say i picked up uh because it's building material uh i picked up a quarter inch thick piece of plywood uh, four foot by two foot. I already have the template cut or drawn out on it. All I need to do now is get a hold of my building manager and borrow her saw, saw horses. Sorry, I can't talk. I don't have teeth. Um, and uh, cut it up and then adhered my uh, bridge to it and it'll be a lot more stable uh, than it is. It's a little wobbly the way it is, and I, I don't like that. Um, and then, of course, it'll give it a good good go, uh, spot that I'll be able to maybe make a, a hole and hang it up, because that's what I want to do. I want to hang it up on the back of the door uh, out of the way, so it's not like on the actual layout like it is now, because that's not conducive to running trains uh, or testing or anything, and it's a pain in my, my butt. So, yeah. But we're getting there. So, like I said, please leave the comments in below uh, on whether you're buying to collect or buying to run the freight and the, the, the locomotives that you're buying. I mean, is it going to be a shelf queen or is it going to be a layout master? All righty. Everybody have a great day. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Hopefully you don't get rained out. Hopefully it's not too hot or a fire or a drought or any, 
craziness. Hopefully everyone is having a great weekend and uh, I'll talk at you later. Please be blessed. Peace out.